things are so irrational that your rational mind gives up and, and you just kind of go with whatever's happening and let yourself be taken wherever whatever force wants to take you. Out of that process, uh, I made some commitments to the spirit of the air. So I agreed to take that bear carcass to the top of a mountain nearby so he could kind of look out over the territory that he had more than roamed around all his life. In the process of that climb, I got a uh, uh, something very foreign coming to my mind, which was just a bunch of words that I didn't understand. I now call it bear speak, but I have no idea what it is, uh, or didn't at the time. I had come in from trout fishing one night to my little cabin. It was pouring rain, it was almost dark, and when I got up to the cabin, I could hear a noise in the cabin, and I had two old guys from Tacoma with me. So I jumped onto the bunk, I told the old guys to go to the beach and get in the boat. Uh, I jumped under where the bear was coming in and grabbed the rifle, and then I went did that running down the beach as well. As I stepped through the door, he came running out the door with that full bore and uh, hit me. And in the process of doing that, I fired a shot towards the bear. And the next thing I saw was the bear was right in front of me. He fell as well, but he was so heavy, he fell right through the floor. And I was just devastated that uh, I had shot this bear and that he was going to starve to death someplace. As I went further into the bush, I got more frightened. I, I felt as though every neuron in my body was just screaming, get out of here, you know, I don't want to die here. I don't want it to end like this. This isn't what I want, get out. I went to see uh, one of the older guys. Um, I told him the story and he just laughed at me and started calling me down and told me I was an idiot. And, you know, when was I going to grow up? And, and so it was the beginning of a long teaching with him about um, moving outside ourselves, about uh, not seeing ourselves as the center of the universe, but seeing our, ourselves as in relationship to everything else. When you uh, realized in English the mantra, what was it you had been hearing all the time? It was spirit teacher, guide, and I had not it just put everything in context then of what this whole process had been. That in fact the bear was my spirit teacher and it was it was helping me and moving me along and there to, to work with me if I would open myself to it. Uh, it was very much like an epiphany kind of thing uh, uh, with the creator. You, know, uh, you suddenly realize that's all you've got to do is let yourself go to that process and just being able to say, spirit teacher, guide me. You know, it's just a plea, and it, but it is so powerful. And so giving in to that, those forces, that uh, it's just was so uplifting at the time that saved my life.